there's a big debate around let's adopt the rand as our currency. Some say no, let's stay with the US dollar. Some say no, let's go, let's have a, 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 a stable local currency. Where do you stand as far as that conversation is, how, is, is concerned? I do want a stable local currency. I don't think it'd be right to try and work with the currency of another country. And I think it's absolutely wrong for the Department of Taxes to say, because we don't want our own currency, we want you to pay your taxes in the currency of another country. This should not be allowed, but it is allowed. Now, these sort of things would be overcome if we could rebuild a local currency that we felt was deserving of respect. But that means it's got to be managed properly. That also means that the Reserve Bank has to draw in, as you mentioned, retentions for some companies. The retention shouldn't be there. All the money should go to the Reserve Bank. But when you want it back, you pay the same exchange rate to buy it back. And you do that through your commercial bank. And the commercial banks, you know, going back, uh, having been born here, I can remember all the years of my life, there being a shortage of foreign currency. Today they're saying the shortage of foreign currency has led to the black market. Well, there was a shortage of foreign currency all the way through the past 84 years I've been here. And uh, we didn't have a black market. Mm. We didn't have a, an exchange rate that was there for people who could afford it and didn't care about what happened to everybody else. Mm. There was one exchange rate and everybody could get it, but you would be told this particular import that you want is just not on the cards because it's not important enough and other people need it and so they're the ones who are going to get it. And so priorities have been there since way back in the early Rhodesian days. Why couldn't they come back now? We did have a very good way of allocating foreign currency. The foreign currency allocations and import licenses that they had during the UDI days uh, it was very difficult to work with, but they did work, and they kept the country going. It came, came down to discipline, and the discipline needs to come back.